me start with uh, quickly that uh, I just recently uh, prepared this talk and I haven't given it before. So um, if I'm a little bit uh, insecure, then that's because I haven't uh, had a chance to uh, practice and prepare very well. Um, because there's a lot of new topic. Um, basically what I'm talking about is, is work in progress that's happening right now and um, um, a lot of things that um, where we don't know yet uh, um, how they will play out. So, um, this is the, the rough overview of what I'm going to talk about. Um, I'll quickly introduce uh, what uh, Connery is and what uh, Foresight is. Um, I will uh, tell you what we are doing with Fedora and um, then I will tell you why we think that is interesting for the Fedora community. So let's start with Connery. Um, Connery is a, a package manager and tool chain created by a company called uh, RPath. Um, it was developed uh, in uh, 2005 by some uh, key um, Red Hat people, um, Eric Troan, who developed RPM, uh, Michael K. Johnson, who was the first uh, leader of the Fedora project, and uh, Matt Wilson, who was also a uh, well-known person in the um, free software community. So um, what they did was they um, looked at all the existing uh, package managers and tool chains out there and looked at what's good and uh, what's not so good and what can be improved, and then uh, designed the new and uh, improved system, which, uh, for example, among other features includes um, advanced uh, dependency detection. So uh, Connery is uh, much, much better in detecting uh, dependencies on packages than, um, than RPM and other uh, package managers. Um, it um, builds dependency closed groups um, that means you, you have a set of packages where Connery will verify that this uh, set of packages is self-contained, that, that there is no package in this group that, that depends on something that is outside, that is missing from, missing from this group. So for example, if you have an install uh, DVD, um, it can uh, tell you that all the packages that are on the DVD don't depend on anything that is not on the DVD. Um, Connery supports uh, rollback. Um, that means it can basically guarantee that um, it knows how to uninstall or reverse an upgrade of a package and restore a, a previous state. Um, one uh, a nice feature is the system model it, that defines um, the set of packages that um, are currently installed on the system. And that's a plain readable ASCII file that I can copy from one machine to another, and then um, uh, Connery will synchronize um, to that same um, configuration set, or the same package set, and then you will have two machines with identical packages down to every version. Um, essentially, Connery is a revision control for packages. So it's not just a, a storing packages somewhere on the server, but it's actually putting those packages in revision control. Um, so that you really have, you have all the versions going back. Um, it's not just files that are identified by, by version numbers and where the highest number is the newest version, but it's really a revision control. So the actual version of the package doesn't matter, but the order in which the packages are committed. So you can, for example, um, commit a downgrade. And everybody who upgrades their system will perceive it as an upgrade. And I don't have to, like, um, I don't know how our RPM is doing that, but Debian, they're doing this with this, uh, um, um, with this uh, number colon. And uh, it's kind of like a generation thing. So if you have a, a version 5, and then you need to have a version 3, then it's one colon version 3 in order to handle the, the increasing number of the versions. Um, so we don't need to do that, because we have a version control system, basically. So it's actually. Uh, uh, defined in the database uh, what is the latest version. Um, Connery packages are built using uh, simple recipes 
um, based on Python classes. It's a very basic Python code. I'm not going to go into details here. This is uh, just a, a rough overview. Um, and another feature is that the package building is uh, fully automated. Um, so there's a lot of uh, um, uh, tools, or actually there's one, one very well working tool that automates the whole process of packaging um, and to, to make it a really um, hands off. So I basically just start the command, I put in the recipe and I run it and it will do everything by itself. Foresight Linux. Um, Foresight Linux is or was a desktop distribution that um, was built by a uh, community member um, who discovered uh, a Connery and RPath and figured out that this is actually a nice space for a distribution. And um, so he set out to, to, to build that. And it is one of the earlier rolling release uh, distributions um, where you basically just get the upgrades uh, as they happen and you keep a stable system. And uh, one of the reasons why that was possible is because of the rollback uh, uh, which enables a safe upgrade because uh, if the upgrade fails it's uh, um, always safe that you can go back and undo it if it really breaks, um, which it uh, rarely does though. And um, the whole distribution was maintained only by a handful of people. Um, thanks to the automation, um, the most of the work is really just waiting for the build servers to get done uh, building the packages and building the groups. Um, there was not really much of uh, work that had to be done by hand. Now, what are we doing with Fedora? Um, So first, the, 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 the technical things. Um, there, um, there's a package or a tool called Mirrorball, which was a developed to import um, RPM repositories into Connery. Um, why? Um, I will get to that uh, in a minute. Um, this uh, import uh, works on, on three levels. On the simplest level, it will just take the binary RPMs as they are and wrap them into a Connery package. And then um, you, we, when, the, when Connery installs the package, it will just call RPM to install the package as it is. On the second level, it will open up the RPM and pull out all the files and repackage them as native uh, Connery uh, packages. And uh, kind of like Alien does it when it converts from Debian to RPM or to other uh, formats. And, um, but it does it on the whole uh, distribution level. And uh, uh, then you get a native Connery distribution that uh, has nothing in common with the original distribution anymore, other than the binaries are the same because it's not rebuilt. And on the third level, um, it can rebuild the packages from SRPM. Um, we are right now working on the first level. Um, we're just importing the RPM packages as they are. Uh, because we're mostly interested in the culinary management and not so much in the packaging uh, or building at the moment. And also, the other levels are not really that interesting for Fedora, at least uh, not yet. So, why Fedora? Um, for Foresight Linux, uh, built on our path, um, our path was a server distribution that was kind of a dead end because the, what they were doing with their business, um, they were not actually successful in selling our path as a distribution to customers because everybody wanted uh, mostly CentOS. And um, so eventually they just stopped developing that. And uh, that uh, um, hurt us a lot because uh, that meant that we would have to take over the development, which we, which we did. So we had to develop the base distribution uh, with the base packages, um, which was a lot more work than just uh, maintaining uh, a stable system and upgrading packages that were interesting for us. And the base distribution development is not really interesting anymore. I mean, this is what, what, uh, um, what's happening in Fedora as well. This whole uh, Fedora Next initiative, uh, um, in a big part, uh, bases around the fact that 
a simple generic distribution development is not really interesting anymore. You, there's, there needs to be more. There needs to be something, uh, um, some, uh, we want to build products. We want to reach end users. And this is what Fedora Next wants to do. And this is what we also want to do. Uh, we want to really work on the, on the user side of things. So, um, because of the historical affinity of, of Red Hat, 